hello again, YouTube. Thank you so much for tuning in to another installment of The Light. I'm excited to be reporting this news to you. I've been really enjoying the growth and the support that's going on with this channel. And folks, I couldn't do it without you. Now, I want to go ahead and go shades off. Uh, thanks to all you folks who've helped me grow this channel. And thanks especially to those of you who have subscribed. I couldn't do it without you. And I really need your support and your feedback. So keep it up. Um, now, I also hope that you enjoyed that opening track. Uh, that was a song by the Southern Sinners, this amazing up-and-coming rock band, a country rock band from Texas. Uh, I'll talk a little bit more about them at the end of the video, but uh, definitely go check out their sound and uh, follow them on Facebook. Now, to get into the news, we're talking about the industrial hemp revolution here on the light today. As we see Oklahoma, the last state now to legalize industrial hemp, farmers in Oklahoma will be able to take advantage of this crop next season in uh, 2020. Uh, and this is amazing, amazing stuff that we're seeing as we see massive increases in the licenses in states like Connecticut and in Alabama. Um, industrial hemp is taking off and moving into the mainstream, and so is cannabis. We're seeing uh, record acceptance by corporations with massive numbers of discounts this 420 by companies like Lyft and uh, others. Um, we're seeing corporations get on board with it, realizing that uh, being part of the movement is a whole lot better than being against it. Uh, so this is exciting. And today I want to report on Hemp Inc. Now, y'all know that this company is at the top of my watch list. And, um, you know, it's really an interesting company. Um, I've been watching it for a while, doing a lot of qualitative analysis, looking at the land that they've got, looking at their investments in their infrastructure, um, in their farming and uh, in, in what they're producing, what kind of hemp they grow and what they're creating. Uh, I've been impressed, but now we see them reporting their full year financial results for the year of 2018, showing massive increases in revenue. As you can see in this article that I will link to below by Yahoo Finance, uh, there's massive increases in sales revenue from $107,000 of sales revenue in 2017 to over $1.9 million of sales revenue in 2018, showing a roughly 1,800% increase in revenues. This is a amazing, especially considering that the operating costs in that time period increased by only about 72%. Uh, so these results are nothing to joke about. Big, big results as this company just scratches the surface of its growth potential, taking off now. And um, I want to talk about what really makes this company stand out from the rest of the pack. You know, it's not your um, average pot stock. Really, it's completely different. Um, and uh, one thing that makes them stand out is that they grow hemp, industrial hemp, not cannabis uh, for recreational use. Now, uh, they are growing flowering cannabis, but it is with CBD rich uh, terpenes. So this is something that doesn't get you high. They're growing it purely for the curative CBD compound and the industrial materials from the plant itself. Uh, so that makes them stand out. And CBD is becoming so valuable as we're finally starting to realize uh, how useful this is. As we see companies, as I plugged last video, uh, like Zynerba Pharmaceuticals, creating next level treatments for uh, conditions that had no equivalent treatment before things like fragile x syndrome autism and asd uh, utilizing cbd they've made a gel that can be used to treat these developmental disorders and uh, it's amazing stuff it's really helping the world and it's also helping farmers uh, that are able to get in on this crop uh, because it's very profitable a much better crop than so so many other things that are prevalent in uh, farms across America uh, now the fact that hemp ink grows that instead of uh, THC rich cannabis sets them apart in a big way, but also what sets them apart is that they have a focus on the industrial purposes of hemp with bi-coastal processing and another processing facility set to be developed in Kingman, Arizona at the Veterans Village Kins community. Hemp Inc. is set up to be a global leader, especially a North American leader in the industrial hemp marketplace. Um, they have an 85,000 square foot GMP compliant uh, multi-purpose 
processing and testing facility in Spring Hope, North Carolina, bound to be an industrial hemp hub of the United States. And they've also got their bi-coastal uh, facility over on the West Coast in Medford, Oregon, a local processing center and a testing laboratory. They've got these testing laboratories now popping up with a joint venture with DigiLabs, um, excuse me, DigiPath, providing testing laboratories for potency and um, this is very important so that Hemp Inc. doesn't have to transport their product long distances to have it uh, tested for potency. Um, now, this processing capacity allows them to uh, provide processing services to farmers all across the country and also to process their own hemp. So they're vertically integrating with processing, testing, extraction and so many other things with these facilities and uh, they're also going to be able to produce some amazing products um they already have two patented products which are both actually um for the oil and gas industry one is spill be gone um spill be gone is an is an absorbent based out of uh hemp which can wick an oil spill off the ground or off the water it's an amazing product and something that can really help clean up these environmental disasters. And the second product, again, to help mitigate the environmental hazards of the fossil fuel industry is drywall for the um, well or drill housing in uh, oil uh, drilling so, so that oil doesn't spew out of these wells uh, when the housing collapses and malfunctions. So this product again is going to help prevent environmental disasters and uh, it's offered at a competitive price point. Uh, it shows the ingenuity, the innovation, the creativity of Hemp Inc. bringing these great solutions to another highly valuable industry in the United States. Um, one that they will eventually probably compete with. Uh, it's very impressive. And um, this this is on top of all of the things that they can do with hemp, uh, creating medicinal compounds, CBD, uh, just selling the flour or using the fibers to make other um, manufactured products. It's very impressive. Uh, so this makes them stand apart. And also they have a triple bottom line. Um, they have the financial bottom line, the first bottom line. It makes sense. The company's got to grow and perform well financially so that they can achieve their goals and their other two bottom lines. Then second, the bottom line of giving back to communities in need, giving back to farmers and giving back to communities like veterans. You already see them following through at the Veterans Village Kins community where they're going to be giving back to veterans at this amazing project and also growing tons of industrial hemp cbd rich industrial hemp um i can't wait to go down there this summer and report on the great american hemp grow off that they have happening but it's exciting to see them build this eco village and this center where veterans can come and um get in on the industrial hemp revolution and then the third bottom line is giving back to the earth and um helping to um you know save the environment, something that happens almost naturally with hemp. Uh, you, you see them helping the environment with the, those patented products, but hemp actually captures and sequesters CO2 from the atmosphere through plant respiration in heavy amounts. And then we're using that um, CO2, which becomes organic biomass in the form of cannabis and turning it into industrial products, using it for manufacturing, maybe turning it to biofuel, uh, turning it to medicine. Uh, and, and so we're actually helping to mitigate these greenhouse gases by, by uh, growing industrial hemp instead of using uh, petroleum, which we're using for plastics and all kinds of purposes outside of the burning of fossil fuels. Um, now, the company is very impressive and Bruce Perlowen, a very smart, interesting fellow, the CEO of Hemp Inc. talks about how they kind of follow a Amazon-esque uh, strategy of reinvesting profits into the company, especially into the infrastructure, allowing the company to grow in its capacity and capabilities at the same time. Uh, now you see this really paying off in this earnings report and it's very exciting. I can't wait to see the company continue to grow and I can't wait to go back to Golden Valley area. Arizona and report on the Veterans Village Kins community and the Great American Hemp Grow Off this summer. Really exciting and uh, it's going to be a great video so uh, stay tuned for that sometime uh, this summer. Now folks I want to 
point you again to the Southern Sinners, this amazing up and coming country rock band based out of Texas. Now, they're about to go tour and rock the West this summer, going from Texas to New Mexico to Arizona out to Los Angeles, and their album, Insulting, is dropping May 4th. Now, I already have the album pre-ordered. You can pre-order it too for $8 on their website. I will link to it down in the description. Uh, I really encourage you to go check out this sound. It's great music and a great cool group of guys. I can't wait to see them rock out and please go and see them on tour if you're going to be uh, near any of the locations that they're stopping at this summer. Uh, people, again, thank you so much for tuning into the light. Uh, go check out the Southern Sinners. And uh, please leave me a like and a comment. And again, subscribe if you have not already subscribed to my channel. I can't do it without all you folks subscribing. I can't tell you enough how much I appreciate the love and support. Now, people, much love and uh, enjoy this music. This is Open Your Eyes by the Southern Sinners. Peace out, and I will see you in the next video.